well, we were, we were struggling a little bit. You know, we had a real nice drive early with a nice touchdown catch from, of uh, uh, Deuce Watts. And then, you know, got the big fumble recovery for a touchdown by Jaden Kennedy. And it was kind of a you know, defense was kind of wore out. And the offense needed to make some plays. And down there at the very end, they did. Uh, you just never know when it's your opportunity. You know, and it was it was Kai's opportunity. I've been telling him, Tell all those guys, you know, you're two plays away from getting in there and playing it for 13. Sure enough, that's what happened. And Tajay's here showing a lot of versatility tonight. What did you see from him and how important was it to have a running back that you can use out of the backfield and the traditional role and then on trick plays and one? Well, he, he also had a really, really nice block on a, on a big uh, blitz pickup and uh, the first down at Deuce on our drive for the touchdown. So he's just, he's a complete player. You know, he can run inside, he can run outside. He'll block people. He uh, catches the ball, smart, you know. So he's a, you know, he's a difference maker kind of guy. We need to try to get the ball in his hands as much as we can. Michael Pratt was sidelined tonight, but he seemed pretty involved with the entire team. Went out for the coin toss in overtime. Uh, what do you say about him as a person? How involved was he tonight with doing everything with seven? He, he's just awesome, good man. You know, I, I expect would expect nothing less from him. That's just uh, the way he was raised, the way he operates, and. Uh, you know, it's it's how you that's how you're supposed to it's a team game. You know, I tell these guys guys all the time, you're not gonna be rooting for your buddies getting the MMA fighting, right? Can you do talk, that. Can you talk about an injury or what his prognosis is? I think he'll be ready next week. Undisclosed injury. Um he called timeout on the fourth and goal play. Was that the gym's to dial that up or what was it? Well the offensive was, staff was talking about it and we just, uh, that, you know, we had a couple of them that we weren't sure of. You know, it's a, it's a play. If it's not there, we go ahead and roll out. And, uh, you know, it's all based on reading the end. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a goal line play that everybody's running nowadays. And uh, uh, the end went up the field. And Kai did a good job reading them, pitched to Tyreek. And, I rescored the touchdown. Did you consider going for two at all in that situation? Just a little too much time. If there would have been uh, 15 seconds around, we would have gone for two. But I think it was 39 seconds left. And, you know, they can still get down the field and do some stuff. So, uh, so we didn't, you know, we knew if we, we kicked it and they probably played for overtime, I thought. But they they kind of were aggressive for a little while. Yeah, in a tough place for you guys to run. Um, what would it say that you were able to get it done? Well, I just I just thought you know everybody kept believing on the sideline and you know and, and uh, you know and the the defense you know just kept you just don't know the path to victory it changes you know all the time and and the defense was just playing lights out and and, uh, and I'm, just, I'm just glad the defense had enough toughness and grit not to get discouraged by how we were playing offensively. And they kept saying, hey, we're gonna we're gonna score the points. And then uh, when the offense started clicking that last drive and we were real close on a bunch of plays too. I, I you know there's there's a few plays I thought we were pretty close on. Clayton Tune was projected to be a first rounder ahead of the season and it's been hard for defense to stop a new guy said what exactly went into stopping the correct you know I, I really thought we had a good game plan and, and for the most part, we corralled him because he likes to get outside the pocket, do some stuff. And we covered, 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 covered. We had to cover for a long time. Um, but he's a, he's a fine quarterback. He really is. And, and you know, um, I just thought Coach Hampton and the defensive staff had a heck of a game plan and the kids executed. Yeah, 42 plays for the second half of year 13, but when it came to all the time. Yeah, they they were they were wore out, you know. There's they eked out a few first downs, you know, and uh, but they, but they played well. I thought we tackled pretty good most of the time. Played leverage. There's some times, you know, you thought, hey man, they they they're gonna get a big rip, and the guys did a good job of approaching with leverage. Shoulder again? You know, it's a shoulder. I, I'm not sure we're gonna find out here. He couldn't go back in. He's very disappointed. He talked a little bit about Kai Horton, but what can you say about his ceiling? He looked really good as far as ball placement goes, but just as far as his development. You know, I, I thought he did some good stuff. You know, he was uh, 
you know, there's a few balls you'd probably like to have back. But uh, for coming into a pressure pack situation like this, I thought he did a whale of a job. Yeah. 